Today, we will show you why the vast majority of Israelis see the Haaretz newspaper as an unreliable and dishonest source of information. But first, we bring you the silence terror report you will not hear anywhere else. How would you feel if your 16-year-old daughter was on a bus that was suddenly hit by a fireball? <laughs> There were eight firebombs thrown at Israeli vehicles this week. In addition, 38 stone throwing incidents, nine arson attacks, and two failed attempts to infiltrate and attack Jewish communities, all perpetrated by Arab Palestinians against Jewish residents of Judea and Samaria. In conclusion, there were 901 terror attacks from the beginning of 2019. So how difficult do you think it is to catch a terrorist who picks up a rock and smashes it into a car at 70 miles per hour? Impossible. It'll take him five minutes to run back to his home. That's why the IDF uses ambush to catch these terrorists. And this is where our story begins. 25th of January 2019, a group of 16-year-old Arabs from a very hostile Arab village called Silwad head toward the main highway of Samaria, Route 60. After arriving at this highway, they start throwing stones at Israeli cars. IDF soldiers waiting undercover saw what was happening and fired towards them. One of the Arabs was killed and another wounded. All of this is according to the soldiers' testimony, backed by the IDF spokesman. Haaretz, though, came up with a whole different description. Palestinian teen hiking with friends, they went to the valley to have a picnic. You see, everyone agrees they were shot near this highway. Now why go all the way from this village just to picnic near this main road? Even the Palestinian media, as reported in Israel's Communist Party news site, claims the teen was wounded in a demonstration, not a picnic. The thing is that while in the Hebrew version, there's a reference to the IDF's claim that he threw stones, and the headline continues, but there is no certainty that the soldiers were endangered, in the English version, the IDF's response is omitted from the headline, stating definitively that he posed no danger. That's not journalism. Rather than reporting the news, Haaretz spreads propaganda that incites this kind of sentiment. Israel is a terrorist state. Yeah! Unfortunately, many readers around the world still believe that Haaretz is a reliable news source. Boomerang is here to offer you an accurate picture of what is really happening on the ground, particularly in Judea and Samaria. Thank you for watching. Quick reminder that in a few weeks from now, we're going to give away hundreds of pizza pies to the IDF soldiers serving in Judea and Samaria. You're welcome to join us. Click the link below or contact us.